Okay, this is video two because my phone died on the first one. So here is my 17 and I, I, I count with this flat side of the foundation rule. I don't know if you can see that. My phone keeps turning. <laughs> but anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I count the ribs, not the stuff in between. And I'm not counting this first flat piece here. I start with the first rib and when I get up to seventeen, then I know I'm done and I'm going to attach the, uh, I'm going to be folding it over and slip stitching in the stitches. And another way you can figure this out is when you have your 17 rows, your little tail should be on the left hand side of your work. So there's my banana bread that smells so good. So yeah, so I chained one. And now we're going to <clears throat> flip this up. Actually, I'm going to flip it back the other way so that my working yarn and stuff is in the front. Can you see that? <laughs> it's in the front. And then what we're going to do, I'm just going to move you guys again. So hopefully we can get this right. And we're just going to look for our first stitch on the one side and line it up with the stitch on the opposite side. And we're going to yarn over and pull that through and pull through again so that we're just slip stitching. And that's what you're going to do in each stitch. You're going to find that stitch and match it up to the one in the back. Pull up a loop through there and pull it through again. So just do that all the way down until everything is slip stitched together. And then we're going to chain one and then flip it right side out. So we'll come back. Okay, we got this whole thing slip stitched together. So now you're going to chain one and just pull this out a little bit. And then we're going to turn our work right side out. There. Right side out. So now we'll take our our hook, oops, and put it back in through that loop and pull it down. And then what I'd like you to do is go in and do a single crochet, that's number one, and go in between the ribs and do another one, and that's number two, and go on the top of this one, which is a rib, and that's number three, and then in between the ribs, another single crochet, number four, top of that one, that's five. And what you're going to do is go all the way around, space it as evenly as you can, and when you come back to the beginning, then I want you to have 35 stitches, okay? All right, so I'm back at the beginning and I have 35 stitches and it doesn't have to be exactly in between and on top of each of these ribs, but like I said, just space it as evenly apart as you can. And when you have your 35 stitches, then I want you to go into the first one here. 
and slip stitch so that you can slip stitch that together. And then you're going to chain one and turn it around. Now we're going to start working on the heel. So what you do is go in to this one here and single crochet. And the next one, single crochet. Single crochet. Next one, single crochet. Single crochet. And there I have five so far. And you want to do 17 all together. And once you have 17, then you're going to chain one and turn. And you'll need 10 rows all together. So this is our first row. After doing the 35 stitches around, we're now starting the heel. And that is 17 single crochet, 10 rows of that. And we'll be back. So I've got three rows done already. And what I do is I just have a little pad of paper and every time I finish a row, I always mark it down with a tick. So, like I said, we're going to do 10 rows. This is row number three, and it's starting to look like this. So at the end of the row, you chain one and turn your work around. And then you go into this first stitch here. Oops. <laughs> and single crochet. And make sure you're counting so that you have your 17 stitches for each row. Because uh, it's easy sometimes to get lost or distracted and uh, then you have to pull your work out and that's uh, a pain in the butt so yeah at the end of every row that's when I mark down a tick and then I can keep track that way so I'm just getting down to the end of my fourth row and I'll meet you back here when the tenth row is done. Okay, so now that you're done your ten rows, your work should be uh, like chain one and turn, and it should be facing you like this now, where the cuff, the inside of the cuff is looking at you. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go into this first one and do a single crochet and another single crochet next to it and another one next to it so we're going to do three single crochets in a row and then we're going to go in the next one and pull up a loop and in the next one again and pull up another loop and that is going to be single crochet two together and then now you're going to do six single crochets in a row. And then we're going to fold this in half backwards. And we're going to go into the first stitch and we're going to slip stitch. So you're going to grab the yarn and pull it through and pull it through again. And you're going to slip stitch all the way across. So that's number two, three, And the last one here is seven. And then you're going to chain one. And now you're going to push your heel right side out. So now you have something that looks like that. And this is going to be facing you again like this. And then we're going to start right here in the first stitch 
and we're going to single crochet and you're going to try and space evenly in between here 13 stitches all together so that was one two three four and you can do two together that's fine too five six seven eight nine ten eleven and 13. I don't know if you could see it or not but there is a few loops where I just did two together. So now we have 13 on the side of your heel. Let me just show you here. I guess this would be your heel here. <laughs> 